After purring, Pancake has come to join us. Say hi, Pancake. Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're going to walk around Savers looking for things to pick up to sell on eBay, Etsy, and other sites. And I'm going to really focus on five things that I never pass up that I like to pick up when I am out thrifting, garage selling, or at estate sales. I definitely like to pick up things that I haven't seen before, and this clown falls into that category. Uh, so I definitely put him into my cart. You'll notice as I'm going along that I pick up a lot of things, put them in my cart, and by the end, I won't have quite as much because I do end up looking things up to see if it's a good pickup. I do like picking up figural items, whether they're, you know, different animals. You'll see in a second, uh, there are some that I, I pass over though, but these like wooden figural items, metal, you know, animals, everybody has their favorite animal creature that they, I mean, not that everyone collects them, but generally, you know, they're something that is an easy thing to buy, say for a friend that you know collects frogs or owls or turtles. And finding something that's unique that your friend or family member might not have is always a good thing. So I generally look for things that are not a dime a dozen looking. For example, this. I also like to pick up things I have never seen before, things that are very unique. And this one ticks multiple boxes. This is a figural item. It's a turtle, clearly. <laughs> and I've never seen anything quite like this before. So this would definitely fall into that category of something that you might not find for your turtle loving friend anywhere else. This is a little pig. It's for potpourri, but it's called a, what is it? A palmandier? I'm, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Y'all correct me. And I noticed that there are quite a few uh, boxers as I'm looking through here because uh, boxers are near and dear to my heart. I grew up having boxers. So uh, that looks like we always had white boxers though. So that's the way we that's the way we did this little piggy bank is really sweet it's definitely vintage I do not end up getting it however because they wanted five dollars for it and while I probably still could have made a good ten dollar profit I'm really trying to limit the amount of output that I'm spending at the moment until my sales really start picking up uh, I don't want to be spending too much money <laughs> out and not making uh, money come in these are the type of figural items that I don't generally pick up because they, I mean, to me, they look more dime a dozen. If I'm wrong, y'all let me know, especially on this one. Clearly, I'm having an internal struggle, but the lion and that elephant just look like general, you know, figurines that you could get wherever. But I could be wrong. You let me know. I start wondering about these. Where they're, they're, I think they're drink holders, but I'm like, where were where they from? Are they from the rodeo, maybe? These armadillos? These are really cool figural items. They're for, you know, garden sculptures. I couldn't quite figure out what they were made of. They weren't metal, they weren't plaster or ceramic. They weren't concrete, maybe they were plaster. But they were a weird composite material anyway. And they had some damage, so I passed on those. Again, I, I usually like picking up items like this that sing and dance and, you know, or for holidays. But this one, one, it looked dirty. And two, the, the batteries, either the batteries were messed up or it had water damage. And the song was really warped and warbled sounding, so definitely didn't pick it up. I didn't want to spend money taking a chance on something like that that was like, meh, maybe it would be good, but probably not. This little figure, this guy looked super familiar. He looked like Andy Cap. I think that's what he reminds me of. But I decided, no, I think he's one that you paint like at a painted pottery place. This bunny is really cute. However, I see a lot of white bunnies and so I don't end up getting it. Perhaps that was a mistake, but I decide against it. Now, ginger jars. This is where I want to stop and really dive in because ginger jars are something that I always pick up if I find really nice ones, especially if they have the lids, but sometimes it doesn't matter if the lid's there. So we're going to take a look at things that I've sold as far as ginger jars. And we'll also take a look at some eBay listings of sold ginger jars. Let's take a look at some of the ginger jars that I've sold, whether on eBay or Etsy. They will show up as Etsy listings because after 90 days, eBay deletes everything off. 
so I can pull them up still on Etsy. So this is a ginger jar that I picked up at the bins that sold for $25. This one didn't have the lid. You'll notice that some of the ones that I've sold didn't have the lids, but they still sold. So they could be used for a bud vase or maybe somebody's got a little lid that they can pop on it. So that one sold for 25 bucks. This is a ginger jar. I believe this one was in my grandmother's collection, one of the things that she had. Uh, and this is a chrysanthemum design on this uh, ginger jar, and it sold for $55. And this is another one that, I can't remember if this is one that was in my grandmother's stuff, or do I have a note on here? No, I don't. Uh, so this one sold for $21.99, and again, this one's another one that did not have the lid for it. I have one more that sold that did not have a lid. Did I not pull up the rest of my ginger jars? I have one listed right now. The one that is in the cart. I know I have more, but here we go. Yeah, active. So that's the one I've got up right now. And so looking over on eBay, these are sold. Let me so zoom up a little bit. So I just searched ginger jar. There are different sizes, there are different styles. I generally I'm looking for the ones that have the domed lids other other ginger jars sell as well which you will see um, but here's a pair that sold for 46 here's a set of three no lids that a best offer was taken off of 300 bucks so yeah there's all different styles and varieties out there this is this style with this mm, has more of like a finial on the on the lid I don't generally pick those up, but maybe I should if I, you know, see them for the, the right price. I actually have one sitting up there in my workroom. That was my grandmother's. Anyway, um, but yeah, they're worth a look at. I mean, because as you see, maybe it's just because of that. I don't see them for selling for as much as some of the other ginger jars, but perhaps they do. Uh, so yeah, th those are the style that I look for. More this sort of little pot with the domed lid on top that that sell pretty well for me. Yeah, see so here's one that sold. Maybe it's the color, it's that classic blue and white. People, you know, like that cobalt blue color. However, look at those, okay. So maybe I need to take a second glance at uh, the other style as well. But yeah, definitely when I see ginger jars that look like this with the domed lid, then I, I like to pick those up. Diving back in, I end up going back and forth on that Hagar canister I look it up and decide that it's one that I want to leave behind so I don't get it I can't remember now what they wanted on it this ashtray was really nice and it's got this really pretty gold swirling inside they want six bucks in it, on it and honestly I can't remember if I got it or not I I'll have to go look in my in my bag because I haven't even unpacked this bag yet I'm determined that I'm not going to until I'm ready to list them. But there were a few things that I bought I need to go double check on. <laughs> See, boxers, oh. But again, uh, five bucks on that. This turtle, I think it's a soap dish. I decided to pass on that one as well. And then I know snow globes can do well, but I wasn't sure about one that was dated. Perhaps it would have been okay because someone might have wanted it for their child who was born in that year. Uh, 2010 isn't that long ago so that would have made you know the kid what 11 maybe they would have liked a snow globe ballerina and right here are some other figures that I figurines you know that I like picking up this one's a soapstone owl and the painted one next to it the soapstone owl has a little tiny baby owl inside and it's just adorable this gorgeous creature is definitely coming. I mean, look at the painting on that. It's just amazing. So I do look that up. I couldn't find another owl just like it. I do find another one like the, the soapstone owl, and they weren't selling for as much as I thought they might. But uh, the painted one I just I got. I already have it listed. I think it's gorgeous. Another thing, which I don't really... That's a bookend, yeah. And it looks pretty worse for wear. It looks like someone was kicking it around. You see here this set that's a, this is a vanity set. It's got a little trinket box, a little ring dish, and a tiny little vase. I notice they're all marked $2.99, so I decide, you know, I'm not going to spend $3 each on those, but I decide I'm going to take them up to the 
register and ask. Hey, these all look like they go together. Was this $2.99 meant to be as a set or is this $2.99 each? Now, many times I'll do this and they'll say, oh, this is each. Uh, but on this particular occasion, they did say they would sell them to me for $2.99 for the whole set. Ah, next up, metal figural items. I definitely always pick up cool metal figural items. These are little food dogs that I picked up and I, these are not for sale. <laughs> I'm keeping them. They are already in my bedroom and they have a place of honor. But let's take a look at some of the other metal figural items that I have sold in the past. All right, let's take a peek at some of the metal figural items that I've picked up and sold in the past. I'm not gonna show you all of them because I've sold quite a few, but I'll show you some of the more unique ones. This is a rabbit playing a guitar that I picked up at a garage sale. It was like $3, it was pretty cheap, and sold it for $82. And then these little frogs, they're shelf sitters, uh, and they sold for 40. I got them at the same garage sale as the rabbit. This little turtle, I mean, it's a mess, <laughs> but he's metal. He looks like definitely one of a kind. He's unique. It looks like somebody sculpted, created him and he sold for 33 bucks. All right, here we've got these cows as metal cow stacked doorstop that sold for $37. This was another really unique one. It's a donkey horse. I think it's a donkey. And I feel like we had this debate before when I got it. Uh, this one sold for $47.99. And then this really cool green frog I had listed for $62.99. This is a Cocker Spaniel metal. I guess it's a bronze. Yeah. Uh, sold $38. And once again, I'm pulled up. I have my Etsy listings pulled up because after 90 days, these were these stacked frogs that were also a candle holder. So we're looking at double duty here, which is super cool. You got a candle holder and you've got frogs. So it's functional. This is a crane. And normally there are two of these together, but uh, I only found the one and sold it for $38. And then this little cat, it's a ring holder. You drop your rings down on its tail, sold for $17.99. Oh, this is one that I have up right now. That's, uh, is, I'm, I'm tempted to raise the price, honestly. I have it at $64.99. It's metal, and then it's got this enamel fused like glass on its back. So all the painted enamel part there is this glass. It's really cool. It's got this crazed look for it. But honestly, I just listed it this morning and I'm thinking about bringing it up to 75 bucks. Continuing on, y'all know I like picking up jewelry boxes and trinket boxes. This is one I don't end up getting, but I picked it up for a little while thinking, well, oh, maybe, but I decided that I didn't like the, the embossed words on the top of it. So I was like, eh, maybe not. This was a sweet little strawberry, I guess it's for a fairy garden, but I don't end up getting that. I didn't know what this was, so I thought, okay, let me pull this over and take a peek at that. This is some Avon perfume. I've been seeing a lot of it lately at the Savers, so somebody must have donated quite a bit. I was drawn to this. Uh, this is a, a bowl, and it was by Dryden Ozark Frontier. I did look it up. And again, didn't find that it was going to be something worth selling, but I thought, oh, it's a really nice color though. Same thing with this trinket tray. This is one that I end up putting into my cart and looking up and deciding, I, I would rather wait and get some of these other things because I, I really don't want to walk out of there spending a hundred bucks or more, you know, knowing that it's going to take me time to get things listed. I'm a one woman show, so mm -hmm. I can't overwhelm myself and have tons of stuff that just sits in my workroom. Now, if I found something that was just out of this world amazing, of course, I'm going to get it. But I'm really trying to be a little more particular. Looking through here, let me know if you see something that I should have gotten. See, here's another cool looking ginger jar slash urn that I would have definitely gotten, but it is damaged. So I'll show you in a second. The lid has got damage to the top. It's, it was seven bucks. So honestly, B 
because it was just that tip right there, it might not have mattered as much. But I ended up looking inside of it and seeing there's there was another broken. Oh, that was the stem. So possibly I could have fixed it, like glued that piece back on. Um, but I decided I didn't want to do that. But now I'm thinking, oh, you know, it really wouldn't have been that big of a, a fix, a repair. And some of them have sold without lids, so perhaps I should have gotten it. Is this a candle? Is this a candlestick holder? Or is this an ashtray? Maybe it's an ashtray. I, I couldn't figure it out at the time. Like, is that what, is it for like stamping out the ash, the butts of your cigar in there? What? I didn't, I didn't get it though. That's a cute little teapot, but it's that thicker ceramic, you know, it's not a, like a porcelain. So I think if it were porcelain, I might've taken a, a double look at it. This was really cool. I liked it for me. This black bat bottle. Somebody had painted a Canada dry glass bottle and then just glued, you know, like pasted that on. But it was so fun. But I, I mean, I think if it was a buck or something, I would have gotten it for me just for our, our decorations. But I, I didn't. Now, what is that? I couldn't figure it out. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't get it. I wasn't sure what it was. Yeah. Anybody? Do y'all know what this is? It looks like a top, but not. So I wasn't, yeah. Well, I just left it behind. I did not get it. take a drink there for a second. That was a cool platter. Pretty red crackly glass. This was pretty neat too. Um, I guess it's from Tunisia and I, I don't get that either. This was cool. I, I looked at it. I went back and forth about it. It was $11. It is marked USA. I don't know what maker it was, but this really cool like Saturn I guess it was more like a Neptune because that's not quite Saturn um, now this is another one that I picked up and carried around for a while because I, I was just really thought those ducks were super cute so I carried it around and I do end up looking it up but it is not worth the pickup and so grudgingly I put it back because I, I did not want to spend six dollars on on that so if you hear purring Pancake has to come to join us. Say hi, Pancake. This is the mic. You can't have the mic. Let's keep looking for more things to pick up to flip. So I'm really trying to be more intentional uh, as I'm going through and looking at everything because frequently when I come back and watch these videos that I create, I notice that I miss things. And so I'm trying really hard to not miss things. This is a really cool carved piece, but it had quite a bit of damage on it. And so I don't end up getting it. Let's see if I show you. I believe it's a soapstone, but it had right here, this huge chip out of it. It was a pretty cool piece. So it might not have mattered, but I just didn't get it. Now this is a Laurel Birch cat. And I do get this. I pick up Laurel Birch Pretty much any time I find it so I'm going to show you things of Laurel Birch that I have sold and also some that's up on Etsy because Etsy and eBay rather because Laurel Birch uh, makes all kinds of things not just figurines this is a Laurel Birch mug that sold the day after I listed it so as you saw with the wooden figure that was painted, that's not always cats. Sometimes it's other figures, but usually the cats are the easiest, quickest to spot. Uh, you'll notice that they've got a very thick outline, whether it's in black or other colors here on this mug, it's in gold. And they've got these arched backs and they've got a very, once you know the look of Laurel Birch, you definitely, you can spot it pretty easily. So this was a mug that I sold. This was a Laurel Birch Closene, I put Laurel Birch like. It may have been Laurel Birch, but it wasn't marked, so I wasn't sure, but it definitely had that look. So I did put Laurel Birch like cat or Laurel, Laurel Birch style I could have used uh, in that. And maybe it's keyword spamming, but maybe not. And it worked, so it sold for $60. Definitely Closene ornaments in general, but then you've got one that's this angel cat, Closene, Laurel Birch looking one. It's a win. Then I've got this uh, Laurel Birch. This is similar in the style. It's a very light wood. And this one sold for 
this little one sold for 17 and then here's another one that's uh, stretching similar to that one uh, that sold for $11.99. This one had a little bit of damage, so it sold for a bit less. Then let's peek. Here's eBay. And I just wanted to show you there are clothing, there's jewelry, there's bags, there's purses, there's mugs. Laurel Birch has a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff out there. And it can sell. Some of the styles are more desirable than others. So like here's this plum blossom mug that sold for six or seven dollars. I probably wouldn't have picked that up. But like here's this fish tote bag that sold for 38. That's a good pickup. This bowl that sold for 23. Just to give you an idea, you know, here there are the horses. Generally, I see the cats most frequently, but it looks like the horses are probably a pretty good pickup as well if you see them. So I don't see them quite as much. There's a throw pillow. I think you've got the idea. And you can kind of see the style, usually pretty bright colors and heavily outlined on the artwork. So yeah, I think you have got the idea with Laurel Birch. Let's keep going because I have shared with you three of the five. We've talked about metal figurines. We've talked about ginger jars. And we've talked about Laurel Birch, but I've got two more things here that I want to share with you that I definitely always pick up when I can find them. And yeah, so again, as we're going along, if you see something, I do pick up these. These are horn cups. They were $9.99 a piece. There were other horn cups that weren't selling for that much, but the brand Sir Jack's, I only found one other one and the listing was up for over a hundred dollars so I decided to go ahead and take a chance with those this is an, the next thing that I always pick up I pick up things that I have never seen before I've never seen it's kind of like paper dolls this Indian village cutout it's definitely vintage there was one page that had a cut mark on it but it, the figure wasn't cut out of it yet and so because I had not ever seen anything like that before, I bought it and I already have it uplisted for $75. So definitely, especially vintage items that are really unique like that, if I've never seen anything like it before and there's not, I think I found maybe one up there similar, but I couldn't really find a lot about it. I uh, definitely want to get it because it's, it was cheap enough and I can get a really good return on my investment on that. Pass, that's a cute country style, like cutesy. Not cute, cute, but cutesy. Bless this family. I'm avoiding a lot of the quote stuff. Pastel mini lights. No, I'm not. I do end up getting this. This brand uh, is worth a look up. With Love from Joanne, or With Love Joanne. That bowl should sell for quite a bit there are other ones up of that brand that don't so it's kind of hit or miss but if you see with love joanne it's worth picking up or just picking up and looking up anyway and seeing if it might be worth a flip so we'll see how i do on that bowl but it was it was cheap enough i think they wanted three dollars on it i can't remember now i'll have to go back and look this little snowman luminary was pretty cute I, I didn't end up getting it though, but it was cute. I think, you know, like if I'd seen it at a garage sale, they wanted 50 cents for it or, you know, at the bins, I didn't really want to pay $2 for it, but I clearly like it enough to put it in my cart. So there it is. I do not think it made it home with me though. I definitely, most of the things from this trip I have already photographed. So there was another item earlier. I was like, I can't remember if I got that or not. I must not have because... Pretty much everything else I have already photographed and listed. So that's good. Good for me. I keep I keep getting coming back to these molded candles, but I just I never pull the trigger on them. One four bucks. And then I'm worried, like, gosh, is that really it's gonna sit for a while? It looks really cool. But I have a feeling it's just not I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me when I'm I'm getting back into things. So I'm looking at things I wouldn't normally look at, trying to make sure that I'm on top of it right I kind of like that for me so that's why I put it in the car I was like maybe I want that for me and I have to remind myself I'm not shopping for me so I don't get it same thing here this like pile of what are they holly berries is that what that's about? or cranberries maybe no I don't get that either those are pretty cool 
they're not exactly hur would you call those hurricane land they're not hurricane land well they kind of are it's just the way the glass is but they were pretty cool but i i don't get those i look at these flower kind of votive but i i'm still learning about glass i'm kind of lurking in the old things group lurking and looking at glass stuff while i'm there and trying to figure out a little bit more so i know better what to pick up that's that's how you do it i guess you just have to kind of watch and see what people share and and learn from that so that's what i'm doing i like picking up luminary type things that's like a little lantern but none of these grab me I know I missed a fairy light in another video y'all shared with me, and so I'm really trying to keep an eye out. Those are those are really pretty. Ten dollars though, Elsa's. I couldn't do it. That was pretty too. A little looks like a mermaid, mermaid tail or something. Then we're over here in the. This is kind of yeah the office supply section. They sometimes they stick holiday stuff over here too I like these containers like that for jewelry they only want a buck for them but I, I start I talk myself out of them because one they're, they're not really that clean and two I've got quite a few so I'm like yeah I don't really need that but that was actually a good price for if you're wanting to organize for yourself you know all right let me know if you see something else I missed you notice that my card is significantly <laughs> less full Clearly, I have gone through the items and have weeded out some things at this point in my thrifting trip. I liked this frame, but I'm not picking. This frame is really pretty, too, but it was damaged. If this frame had not been damaged, I would have gotten it because it definitely looks old and just really ornate. But here, you see that part there, but it's broken off on the other side. So it was really, really a shame. This was cool. I almost, I mean, I was like, that's $2.99. That's, that's a pretty good pickup. I was going to maybe get it and flip it locally or just keep it for me. But I decide that I don't really want to. <laughs> so I don't. I ended up putting it uh, back. Same thing with that bowl. I liked this metal planter slash urn thing. I guess it's more of a planter. But a spittoon maybe? I don't know. Thank goodness we don't need spittoons so much anymore. This was another thing that I thought, you know, this would be a cool pickup as well. Somebody's got a very, like, country, kitschy house. Uh, but I don't get it. What, what did they want for it? They wanted five bucks. This may have been something like if I saw it at a garage sale for a dollar, I might have gotten it. But, again, that's one of those, like, ugh, it's a little bit bigger. I'm still, like, I don't mind shipping bigger things. But if I can get something smaller that's easier to store and ship, then I would way, way, way more prefer that. And if it's a big thing, I don't want it to hang around. I need it to like get in, get out as quickly as possible. I don't want it taking up space here. This is my next item. This is a Harry Potter plush. You don't, I don't see a ton of Harry Potter plush and this is Buckbeak. And so definitely it was on the card. I'm looking for more. Uh, if you see Harry Potter plush, I'm going to pull up uh, the eBay listings and solds for Harry Potter stuffed animals. It's definitely something worth taking a second look at if you see any Harry Potter stuffed animals. Let's go look. A couple things I want you to notice when we're looking at these Harry Potter plush that have sold. One, I am in eBay.com, so I'm not in UK, and you'll notice that a lot of them are shipping from the UK. I don't know if it's just that there weren't as many here I don't know um the one that I actually got at Savers is from it was sold in pounds so it was from like Universal in London or wherever it is there and it's uh, the making of Harry Potter is what it says on the tag so it's not even one that's exactly like ones that are sold here but here you can see this is a Niffler and it's sold for 60 almost 60 dollars not the girl but the thing she's holding which it's really hard to see actually in the picture um so yeah you might if you are not familiar with harry potter familiarize yourself i'm just gonna say i'm a harry potter nut uh 
And so you can kind of eyeball some of the characters or figures or, you know, Fluffy is this three-headed dog. As you can see, Fluffy is sold in different varieties for about 25 bucks. This is uh, Fang. He's a boar hound. He's sold for, that's Bellatrix, you know. But as you can see, oh, there's the Monster Book of Monsters plush that sold. This is on auction. So some of these I think could have maybe done better. I actually have pig widgeon around here somewhere. Now that I now that I think about it, I'm looking at the owl. I have a couple of the owls floating around here, but I, I go back and forth about selling stuff because I, I like Harry Potter a lot. So yeah, anyway, just scrolling through. Uh, here is an electronic mandrake that's sold for 40 bucks. There's Dobby and there's, you know, Fox the Phoenix. So yeah, if you see a, a plush uh, here and it's a Harry Potter type plush then definitely oh my gosh it's a plush chocolate frog I've never seen those okay I'm not shopping for me but it's definitely worth taking a look at them to see what they might uh, be sold for so oh there's a pygmy puff yeah anyway I definitely got uh, the the hippogriff that I picked up was named Buckbeak uh, this is very similar to the one that I've got, but mine's a little bit different. I don't know that I have it up. Or I do have it listed, but I didn't pull the tab up. Anyway, so mine's a little bit different. It, it was also, like I say, from the UK. So definitely keep an eye out for Harry Potter or Wizarding World stuff, whether it's from Fantastic Beasts or Harry Potter. There's some cool stuff out there that can be flipped. Let's see. I also said that some of these can sell. It, yeah, can have to, can get replacement lights, but are not lights lids, I should say. And let's see what else we see here. And also, please let me know if you see something I should have taken a second look at because I frequently miss things as I go along. What else down here? So I shared my five, but if we see anything else, why not talk about it right while we're at it? That's a cute mug. I, ha I have a whole mug section from this video, but I decided I'm going to split it off and make it into a separate because it was quite a long part because I'm going through all the mugs. I must have been able to go thrifting by myself on this <laughs> particular trip because usually when I'm with the kids, I have to go a little bit quicker just to make sure I get a good amount of time or not, not wearing them out anyway. Y'all, thanks so much for coming to hang out. Let me know down in the chat something that you definitely always pick up when you're out thrifting. If you notice something I missed, then drop that in the comments as well. And check out the comments because friends of the channel always leave really good ideas for things to be on the lookout for. And I will talk to you on the next one. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Bye. Bye.